Yakima's number one hit music station, 1073 KFFM. Dun, dun, dun. Mental Health Monday. But the shining light is Misty. I'm here. Yay. I was going to say, don't be dooming us. I know. There we go. <laughs> we're here. I've already started. I'm lowering yeah, the vibration. There we go. Now, we're going to raise this thing right back up because everybody and their mother has a cell phone or mm-hmm. wants a cell phone or wants to be having some screen time. Trying to talk their parents into it. Right. Yes. I need it. I, everybody and their mother has has one and, and Nancy is over there she's texting and calling people and I want to be able to do the same thing stop for a second take yes. a deep breath okay Misty tell them what the title of today what it yeah, is today we're going to be talking about social media mm-hmm. and teen brains that teen <sighs> mental health now not to point it out but I will tell you that your beautiful teen brain is growing right now yes you're in the process of figuring out who you are yes and even in your early 20s you still don't know who you are One of my cool parent pieces that I pull is your brain is not done until about 27. Okay. Yeah. So it's got lots of developing to do. It may be the size it's always going to be, but there's lots of developing that's going to be happening in those last years. Okay. So we've got a lot of development going on. We've got a lot of emotions going on. Definitely. What does social media do to a teen brain? So it's funny because just like everything else, you're going to find research one way or the other, what you're looking for, right? So your teen may find all the research that's going to back up their needs to be able to have that and the parent's going to find everything else. And so it's filtering through all of that to really what is the takeaway? What does it come down to? And the biggest thing is the teens are seeing it as a needs to connect, right? It's social. All their friends are on there. They're connecting. They're sharing their creativity and there's a lot of creative kids out there. For sure. Right? Coming up with new stuff all the time. And so they want to connect and we're saying that's too long. You've been on there for so many hours. You know, Mm -hmm. the biggest piece is that supervision. What are they doing? And tracking who they're actually connecting to. Okay. And so is it just me and my friends that I know from school? Is it unknown folks? And there's a lot of different apps out there that might get us into some tricky ground. Yes. Um, We want to be providing supervision, appropriate supervision, and paying attention to what our kids are doing online. Okay. How they're connecting socially. Do you have a kind of a guideline of what's a normal amount of everyday usage? Well, as I was going through these things I came up with if we're connecting and that's the intent of this yes then we connect all day long if you compiled all that together it's gonna be hours of that yes if I'm spending three hours in my room after school you know in the evening time connecting socially maybe not a big problem but if it's happening day after day if it's taking me away from other responsibilities or time with family or functioning or I'm having a hard time getting up in the morning because I stayed up on my phone it can cause sleep disturbances, then we're going to want to start paying attention to what is that really doing for us. Okay. Would it be a good idea to set up? I actually put a timer on my TikTok to see nice. how, just to make sure I wasn't, and I was on it for an hour that was like, I had to put the passcode in. And so I stopped using it yes. because I realized, oh crap. That is so true. When you're on the social, when you're on the internet, a time can pass. You have no idea how yep. long that really is. I think it would be a good experiment to try that out and see how long. It makes for a moment of awareness for parents and also for teens. Okay. So so let's let that be the very first thing without saying you have to stop doing it. Right. Just do what you normally do and get it all set yeah. up so you can actually see in one week what you're really, how much time you're right. spending get on some each data. app. Get some yeah. data. Yeah. yeah. To back that up. Mm-hmm. And, and then also monitoring parents, monitoring kids. Yes. Those teens shouldn't have their own passwords. Is that? I think it's appropriate for... No, to know. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and you'll hear parents all the time like, they can be on this if I'm also on there, right? Right. I want to pay attention to what it is. And we don't want to get to the point where, oh, it was too little too late. Oh. I should have been paying attention. You know, taking care to not share your personal information, where people can find you. Your and, address. Right, your phone right. number. Okay. Yeah, How many people at? you have in your family. Right. Don't do that the stuff. The layout of your house. Yeah, exactly. Right? All of those kinds of things. So helping them if they're already going to use it and they're going to push to use it then let's teach them how to use it appropriately okay and help them see us using it appropriately yeah I think that's the big thing and don't do that as you're on your phone and you're not even making eye contact with them yeah. like you're using your phone too much yeah. you need to get off of it <laughs> yes. what are you doing over right, there right right all right well I've got Mary in the studio Mary do you have any kids Yay. yes I do okay do you have any questions for Misty about social media and all this business you got a professional 
professional here. Might as well, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Honestly, I know that oh, social media is actually taking a place in schools now these days. Oh, they yeah. are actually taking place to textbooks and stuff like that. So, like, with kids going to school and stuff like that, how are we supposed to actually control more of that mm, since they're right. actually doing it more in schools and actually leaving it out of our control? Right. I think one thing is to always remember you are the parent. You're the <laughs> expert of your child. And it's totally appropriate for you to advocate for things or if you need extra control of things to contact the school and let them know a lot of times it's like parenting we don't think there's a problem until there is a problem right right and so letting them know hey I'm really concerned about this what do you guys have in place a lot of the schools will have monitoring programs where they pay attention oh they went here first thing I'm gonna mm. know about it you're gonna know about it right. Chromebook has to stay at school or you know setting up different yeah. um, avenues to where they can be successful and Mary I think you're a hundred percent correct again they're gonna be using it mm -hmm. We can't keep them from it. And so it's helping them to learn how to use it. Where are you going? Are you going to the school site? What right. are you using that for? Same thing with social media. What are you trying to get out of that? Who are you trying to connect with? And there's so many different places for them to quickly be bullied, yes. cyberbullying, yes. right? And to start to feel bad about themselves. Mm -hmm. I think one of the key pieces, and it's kind of that chicken and the egg, that this is the age where kids are going to develop things like depression depression and anxiety. Yes. yes. And so if it was easily tied to the social media, we just wipe that right out, right? Uh -huh. And we wouldn't have that. It just happens that it's not that easy. Yeah. No, right? Not. And they're not just linked directly together. Right. And so it's paying attention. You know your kid best. Yes. So pay attention. And when things start to change, hopefully we've had that conversation for quite some time right. to talk about mm -hmm. how to use it. But when you see things change, to really reach out and say, let's let's sit down. Here's what I've noticed lately. Absolutely. Here's where I've noticed you've been going on on, so, on uh -huh. the internet, right? Here's where I've noticed where, look at this conversation and where it led you to. Right. Yeah. Lots of peer pressure too. Yeah. It can happen online. Yeah. And stuff. Yes. Yeah. What Absolutely. would be a helpful thing for a kid who, it seems like they're taking the, I only had five likes. I, obviously my posts aren't good enough or I didn't do my selfie right. I mean, they're, they're judging their self-worth off of other people's reactions to their stuff. How can you, you can't control right. all of that, but what's a way to, to let them know how to look internally and build up mm -hmm. that self-confidence. I think a lot of it comes down to, we talk about one trusted adult in mm -hmm. our lives that we can turn to, that's going to believe in us, that's always believed in us. And helping them see things that I'm always like, those are all great ideas. What's one idea that doesn't have to do with electronics that you can do here? What did you used to like to do? Basketball or painting or poetry and helping them steer to those things. Because just take one incidence where I felt good. Somebody made a good comment a teacher made a comment about my poem or, you know, something that happened where I can build on that one instead of going back to the people who they're actually set up to do that. I learned this recently to set up to troll the internet oh, wow. and <laughs> what? on social media so that you can get more traffic through. Yeah. And so just helping them to feel better about themselves and the things that they are good at, regardless of what the response is. And it's hard because once you put it out there on social media, people say and do things all the time. Yeah. Even, you know, articles on the, the newspaper and the responses that people are giving. People are, we share what we believe in and we yeah. share it strongly, right? Yeah, sometimes you learn a lot about somebody from their social <laughs> <Right>. media. <laughs> of what they're sharing. And so again, what are you using your uh, social media platform for okay and so your kids can see that also are you calling out people are you doing these things right you know, right and helping them you know and and it's not expecting you to be a perfect parent right it's when you make mistakes hey I really should not have done that here's how I'm gonna fix it here's you see me taking a break from social media is you see me not on my phone during family time or you know and so they're more apt to follow you okay nice. so having an open line of communication mm -hmm. pay, paying attention to how much everybody everybody yes. including ourselves yeah is is using it and then maybe playing a game being like yeah. let's see who who can use their phone the least yeah this week and you i don't know i'll take you to the movies or something right. like that have but. a contest they're totally going to be up for that and they're they're young so that if you're excited and on board about it they might they might fight you i have no i have no kids so i have no idea if that, that would <laughs> happen, but it seems like i'd be like yeah right. i want to win so we're like sarah j you can have hawaiian rolls <gasps> 
just for putting your phone down, right? You know how I love Hawaiian girls. <laughs> <laughs> like, so Dale. finding something for them, and again, just modeling that. I think that, again, not expecting you to be perfect, own up to what it is, say I should have handled this differently, yep. and just help teach them all along the process. Yes. Be yeah. strong out there. Yeah. You, they have a bedtime, which means if you can just like hold on for a little bit longer, you have uninterrupted phone time. Don't show <laughs> yes. them how much you're on yeah. their phone. They don't have to see that. Yes. Yeah. There's, you're going to find, again, you're going to find the study that is going to promote whatever it is that you want to say. That's fair. Helping them see if they're staying up all night and they can't get up in the morning and go to school. Yeah. Again, that's functioning. And so we're talking about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's okay to talk about that stuff. Yep. People survived without phones for a very long time. You do not need to have it <laughs> yes. on in your bed with the light on yes. in the middle of the night. Like who, if somebody's messaging you in the middle of the night, I don't even want to know. Right. My dad says nothing good happens after midnight. Oh, there we <laughs> go. Uh, <laughs> you opened your mouth and your dad came out. That's what happens. Yeah, that's what happens. No! <laughs> Anything else while we have you here? I think it's just super important to, again, be a present parent. Pay attention when put in that time beforehand. So if you do have to have that tough conversation, you can have it. Amen. Thank you. Comprehensive health. If it's getting out of control or you have tips and tricks and you just you need those tips and tricks, they can call you. What would be the phone number, the main phone number? Five seven five four zero eight four. And you have any upcoming classes that are free to the public that people I didn't ask her this before. <laughs> <laughs> we are always looking for new ways to connect with the community. They've got lots of different things in the works. We've been talking about doing a lot more on social media where people can reach out. I mean, it's how people connect. Last time when we came, we talked about calling if you're yep. suicidal, we talked about texting, yep. right? There's lots of different options. So we're always looking at more ways to provide community education. No, you're not alone. It's totally okay to not feel good about what's going on. And it is totally okay to speak to somebody who is not involved with you. Sometimes it's better because they, right. they don't know you. So right. they're just going to give you the real deal right. regardless. And we're not the parent. We're, we are Be removed from the situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And they just want the best for you. So this interview will live over at KFFM.com. Mary, thank you for being a part of this thank business. You. Thank you very, very mm -hmm. much. 1073 KFFM.